ministry at Hope Blessing Church where each week we learn about God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. Grab your Jesus Storybook Bible and Learning Kit for this week and come along with me to Hope Street. Hey kids, welcome on to Hope Street. My name is Pastor Steve and I am a pastor here at Hope and we gather each week on Hope Street to celebrate and remind you of God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking always and forever love for each one of us. Well today I'm in a different place on Hope Street. I haven't been out before. This is where we have our worship services together on each Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We gather online. I want to invite you, if you don't have a church home, not only can you join us on Hope Street here each Wednesday or whenever you watch the video, but you can also join us right here at 10 o'clock each Sunday morning for our worship service. And you know what? Each time during those services, we also do one of the songs that we do from Hope Street. So it'll be very familiar to you. Well, I don't know about you, but one of the funnest holidays of all time is Christmas. And part of the fun of Christmas is the anticipation, the expectation of hoping of coming to Christmas morning and the presents that are going to be celebrated. Now, I know you may think I'm crazy. Here we are in the middle of June. But our story this week is about the anticipation, getting ready for the day that is to come and an incredible gift that it's about to be given to all of humanity, to all of us. And this is what we are going to celebrate today on Hope Street. So go ahead and grab your Jesus Storybook Bibles, your cards, your activity kits, and let's gather and let's celebrate not only the power of God this week, but also the anticipation of the coming of a great and wonderful gift. Let's celebrate this week on Hope Street. Your broken heart is the power. Yeah, God. 
Do you have your breath? That is one of the funnest songs that we all do all the time, the power shuffle. It's a lot of fun to dance and to sing around. Hopefully you didn't knock anything over while you're doing that. Well, let's go ahead and get, turn to, in our Jesus Storybook Bibles, to our story, Get Ready. And it's going to be read to us by Eleanor, and she's going to read us this wonderful story today about God's love for us. Hello, my name's Eleanor, and today I'm going to read you a story. It's called Get Ready. God's people return from being slaves, from Nehemiah 8 to 10, Malachi 1, 3 and 4, and Ezra 7. Have you ever been to a party that lasted a whole week? How about a sermon that went on all day? Well, that's what happened to God's people after they came home from being slaves. They had forgotten how God wanted them to live, or who they were supposed to be. So Ezra and Nehemiah read them the rules God had given Moses. But something odd happened. The more the sermon went on, the sadder they all got. Why? Was the sermon that boring? No, not really. It was strange, you see. As Ezra read the book of rules, it worked like a mirror. It showed them what they were like and they didn't like what they saw. They saw that they had not been living the way they should. They saw that they were cruel and selfish. We've blown it, they cried. Now God will punish us. They thought they knew what God was going to do, but they didn't. Of course, they might have picked up a clue from Ezra's name, which means help is here, and an even stronger one from Nehemiah's name, because his name means God wipes away our tears. And that, as you'll see, is just exactly what God was getting ready to do. Ezra looked at God's children. Great hot tears were welling up in their eyes and streaming down their cheeks. He stopped his sermon mid-sentence and shut the book. We're having a party, he shouted. And so that's just what they did, all week long. God wants us to be happy, Ezra said. All day they listened to stories about the wonderful things God had done to, for his people, how he had made the world, how he gave a special promise to Abraham, how he rescued them from slavery, how he spoke to Moses and showed them how to live, how he brought them to a special land, how he rescued them no matter what, time after time, over and over again, because of his never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. They remembered how God had always, all through the years, been loving his children, keeping his promise to Abraham, taking care of them, forgiving them, even when they disobeyed, even when they ran away from him, even when they thought they didn't need him. Then God told his children something more. I can't stop loving you. You are my heart's treasure, but I lost you. Now I am coming back for you. I am like the sun that gently shines on you, chasing away darkness and fear and death. You'll be so happy. You'll be like little calves running free in an open field. I'm going to send a messenger, the promised one, the one you have been waiting for, the rescuer. He is coming, so get ready. It has taken centuries for God's people to be ready, but now the time had almost come for the best part of God's plan. God himself was going to come, not to punish his people, but to rescue them. God was getting ready to wipe away every tear from every eye, and the true party was just about to begin. You know, for these last several weeks, we have been hearing stories stories about God's love, stories about God's working in the lives of people, using ordinary messed up people like you and I, but doing amazing things. And all of the stories of God that we've been hearing about are stories that anticipate and look forward to the coming of Jesus. Something we celebrate on Christmas Day, but we can celebrate the birth of Jesus at any time and be reminded of those stories. 
A lot of you maybe have stories about how Jesus came into your life or stories about how God has acted in your life and in your family's life. Maybe your parents have stories and you can ask them to tell you, tell me about what God has done. Tell me about who God is. These are great stories and they all mind us and point us to Jesus. Well, Sylvia has a fun craft looked, set up for us today. It is to make some emojis together and to have some pictures and do some funny facial expressions. And maybe you can even use them to tell a story, to tell people about what you learned today on Hope Street and looking forward to the coming of Jesus. So let's grab your activity kits, get ready. Maybe you need to pause the video and let's do this craft and this activity that Sylvia has for us. Well, we're at the end of May already, and today you finished up the Old Testament. And yeah, the people were coming back from being exiled and being slaves in another country. And I know they were happy when they came back. So I decided we would make emo em emoji faces or emoticons. And I did one that was happy. So you can do one that's happy, but you can also do whatever else you want. And I cut out some pieces but you're gonna have a piece of black and a piece of white, a piece of red, and a little strip of blue. I noticed that sometimes the emoticons have blue for tears. And I went ahead and cut out some pieces to make a different face, so to save some time. But this one isn't gonna be as happy, but you can make any faces you want. And you use your glue to use your colors however you want to do it. You'll have two plates in your kit so you'll be able to make two plates, two faces. And I know you'll have paper left over so you can use it For anything else you want. So I made this guy kind of sad and crying, but you can make whatever faces you want. Have fun making your emotion, emoji faces. Well, I hope you had a lot of fun making those emojis. As always, we love to see your pictures. You're feel free to post those on the church's Facebook page or on the Rock's Facebook page or send those to Sylvia, whatever. We love to see the pictures of what you do on Hope Street. I'd love to see the emojis that you created there on Hope Street. Well, each week we like to be reminded of our verse that we have for the week. And our verse this week comes from Jonah chapter 2, verse 9. Salvation comes from the Lord. Jonah chapter 2 verse 9, salvation comes from the Lord. And it's a great passage for us to look at because all of the stories that we have been reading have been looking forward and anticipating what is to come. God's salvation, God saving and giving hope and life to each one of us. And we look forward to that and His coming next week on Hope Street. As we close our time together on Hope Street, let's say our Hope Street prayer together. Dear God, give us feet to follow you wherever you lead, hands to love and to serve others as you are healing this hurting world. Give us hearts that are pure. Forgive us when we do wrong as we forgive other people when they do wrong. Give us ears to hear you and eyes to see you. May our mouths tell others about your love because you love us with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. In Jesus name, amen. God really does love you with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. Never forget that. Never forget the truth of his great love for you. And as I said before, if you don't have a church home, we invite you to join us online at 10 a.m right here on, uh, on the Facebook page or on the, uh, YouTube, wherever you're watching Hope Street. Have a great week. Thanks for joining us on Hope Street.
for joining us on Hope Street. Go this week knowing that God loves you. New episodes come out each week. Please be sure to like our Facebook page or subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss them. Want to register for Hope Street? Go to galesburghope.org and click on Hope Street to learn more. Have a great week.